Hello, everybody. And today is truly a very, very special day. And I just have a really special opportunity here um, to, you know, and it's it's my deepest pleasure. And I'm already so kind of emotional moved because this film that I was able to screen um, is just so uh, relevant and so timely to society right now for me as an African-American brother. And it's just a story that, you know, I had never heard of, and I just cannot believe the vast information that I gained from this, the appreciation, and um, even doing additional more research, just how pivotal this was for our history. So I'm here to speak today with the director, the screenwriters, and star of the film, The 24th, which is available in limited theaters. The theaters are now starting to open, video demand, and digitally, August 21st, Kevin Wilmot and Trey Byers. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Good, good to be with you, brother. Blessed, brother. Blessed and highly favored. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> glad to hear. <laughs> and, you know, that's that's almost where I want to go with. Before I even get started, I just want to say congratulations on this film. And, you know, thank you so much for telling this story. Uh, again, I just learned so much and I just could not believe the significance of it. The timing and, you know, the poster was awesome as well, too. But I just I, I just was so moved and I, I, I was just... Um, I, I learned so much, but then also I learned about just how unfar of a country we've came. And, you know, it's just, it's just, it was a lot, but, you know, I'm glad to be able to intake this information because as we know, education is our biggest tool and I'm definitely equipped now. So I'm just so thankful for, you know, the efforts in getting this done. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. You know, it's, it's, um, uh... It's always great when you when you tell a story like this and and, and, it, and it rings to you know true to people and like us uh, and it's, we really appreciate it. And you know, I I think what's also really important too before I actually get started talking about the movie, I just want to make sure you know how are you all doing with the quarantine, with the current state of society, and you know our own you know mental health because that's also a very important day and age in this day and age. Well, I'm staying hunkered down here in, in Lawrence, Kansas. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just not, not going many places these days, but uh, it's probably for the best, right? Yeah. I'm in Los Angeles right now. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm hunkered down too, not really going so many places here with my wife and our and our puppy. Um, and yeah, just making it making it work. You know, it's it's a, it's a blessing to be, you know, alive. It's a blessing to be, you know, healthy. And, uh, you know, just a good time to really check in and say, hey, you know, the, it's a time for gratitude for, for, yeah. for all of us, I think, um, in terms of, you know, recognizing uh, A, our safety and B, our responsibility towards one another, you know. Absolutely. And that absolutely goes into my next question. Now, I know the goal is always to hit the theaters um, you know, want to see this on a bit screen, but you know, obviously with the pandemic, theaters are closed, film festivals were canceled, and it really put everything on pause. Nonetheless, uh, you know, theaters are starting to reopen and whatnot, but this has taken um for humans or humanity to kind of slow down, to kind of reconnect with our inner self, really put the world into perspective, especially within the African American uh community. Um, and you know definitely be observative to everything that's happening around us. And quite frankly, this almost comes as a blessing of disguise because now we're all sitting around wanting to learn more, wanting to dig into our history, you know, and stand up for what we believe in. Uh, and I, and I, and again, this is a, just another important part of our history, but was that ultimately the feeling afterwards when you realize, like, you know, Blow, or you, we can't go to South by Southwest, whatever it may be, but here we are, and this is still, you know, just as important. Yeah, I think so, man. We, you know, we, uh, when South by Southwest was canceled, I, I think, I think, you know, for me anyway, it really told me how serious the pandemic was, and and, and I saw cancellations everywhere, and, and I, had, you know, I was going to go to con with uh, Spike on the, with the Five Bloods, and that was canceled as well, and. So I just knew that it was, you know, this 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 national world emergency had happened, and, and uh, but I'm, I'm hoping that you know that 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 you know this people will find the film. Uh, you know, the fact that we're all down at home, I, I think in some ways could actually help the film in some ways because mm -hmm. 
you know, uh, people are, are paying a lot more attention now. I think that's one of the reasons, one of the things that happened with the George Floyd response, you know, that people were paying attention and people saw that footage and, and people are upset and have responded. And I, I'm hoping that I, we see the same thing with our film, that, that people will, will see it. They're at home. You know, they're looking for something to watch and looking for something to do, you know, and, and this could be the very thing for them. Absolutely. Um, did, did you want to add something, Trey, with that? No, no, I, I agree with, with Kevin 100%. Um, you know, you want to be in a situation where, you know, th this film in, in particular is one to be immersed in. It's, I, I, yeah. The goal was that you would live it with us, not necessarily just that you would just observe it and yeah. to have that big screen and the surround sound and the community of people watching the show from, you know, different walks of life and different races. Yeah. You know it, that I think that was more the goal, but you know this is this is the blessing. This is what we're you know what where we have we, at least the film A is out and B you know is available to people at a at a great price. Um, you don't have to pay fifteen ninety nine for your husband, fifteen ninety nine for your wife. You know what I mean? Like just put that in there, like you know. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's there, it's right. it good bargain. You, and it shouldn't cost much to, to learn and to grow in the way that we're presenting, I think. You know, it's, it's right. a treat all around, I think. But more than anything, it's again, it's the, it's the history lesson that, you know, has been taken from you. And, you know, if this is the way that it has to be, you know, we count ourselves um, fortunate and blessed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely worth the bang for your buck here. <laughs> That's not a doubt. Now, it's much cheaper to go to the movies. I'll tell yeah. you that right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So Kevin, I know you and Trey have a um history of each other. You know, it was a student of yours uh back in the Kansas uh, Kansas University days, and you guys built a really good friendship and not just a friendship, but a level of trust because you you know you wrote this script a long time ago and you let your student friend look at the script. And you know, we love our family and we love our friends. But this is a great mass of trust to say, here's my golden child. Where are you going? He's like, hey, you gave this nugget to this young man. I'm like, good Lord. That's right. And like, you let him massively change it. Like, can, what's the conversations like there? And, you know, how does it feel, you know, seeing Trey grow and blossom into this phenomenal actor he is? And not just the actor, but an advocate as well. And, you know, it all could have just started simply with that little bit of trust that you gave him. Well, you know, we're 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 all very proud of Trey, man. I mean, you know, he's he's a, he's a local hero, and <laughs> you're the local you're hero. Dude, I'm serious, you're, you're a local hero, brother. It's, you gotta take it, you gotta accept it, man. That's right. <laughs> you know, and 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 you know, obviously, you know, we all take you know pride and and in, in the fact that he's you know had great success, and and you know, for me, you know, when I wrote it. And Trey was my student, um, you know, a long time ago. Uh, I just thought Trey would be great as the lead in the film. And and I told him that, you know, when we were in school, I said, I think you would be great in this film. And uh, and that really never left me, you know. And so I was working on Black Klansman at the time, and and we were wanting to do something together. He was in another film I have called Jayhawkers. And and uh, and I just said, hey man, you know, I think the romance needs to be, you know, expanded and and, and updated. And you know, I gave him a few notes, and he just took it and ran and and came back and did everything that that I would have done, man. And so, you know, it was not a hard thing to trust him on that because you know, you know, I knew he was a, a great actor and a, and a sharp, you know, a sharp young man, and 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 you know. Um, and it just, we just kind of just took it and ran with it from there. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, it's it, just speaking on that, you know, it, it really was, I mean, this, you know, for all intents and purposes is, is the first lead that I have. And it's just, a, it's, I count myself blessed that it's with Kevin. Um, I love this brother. He's, he's been there for me in, in so many ways. He wrote my letter of recommendation to the Yale school of drama. Like that's how, how deep it is. And, you know, I just ultimately, you know, it, it, it felt great to, to be trusted with the material, but it felt even better to be side by side with somebody that I count a hero, somebody that I count, you know, brilliant. And, you know, I, I wish this had happened a long time ago because obviously, you know, you're seeing it with Chirac, you're seeing it with, 
with Black Klansmen and the Five Bloods and, and now with the, the, the 24th. But he's been around for a long time doing mm -hmm. excellent, excellent work from the beginning, conscious work from the beginning. And to see this blossom, I mean, you know, when he won the Oscar, if you, you know, you remember, I, I took a video, I was in a yeah. hotel somewhere just in tears, yeah. not, not just because, you know, this is the first person I've ever known to win an Oscar, but so deserving and so hardworking and so devoted to the culture and the work and the students. I mean, this is a, just a generous man. He's as generous and as, as, as kind and courteous as he seems. So it's a blessing for me to, to have a lead in, in this film that means so much to me and to history, but it's also a blessing to work with this man, He's, you know, even in more, more things to come from him that's just gonna yeah. blow your mind, you know? Absolutely. Yes. Now, I know we're going to be coming up on time a little bit, so I just got two quick more questions. Now, yeah. Trey, I'm sorry. There's no way I was doing this interview without completely removing the humble pie here. Now, I met you back in New York Comic Con last year, and, you know, even though you were uh, there for your wife and you just got off a red eye and you were absolutely tired, you still took time to talk. I absolutely appreciate that. My man. Yeah. We know your work on Empire, and we've seen sprinkles of greatness there. But I have got to tell you, if this wasn't the epitome of a breakout performance, I do not know what it was because it was so much about the emotion that you poured in this that just connected me. And then my question initially was, and I completely scrapped it, because the question was, well, how much did you have to prepare for this? But then I realized, well, how less did you have to prepare for this because of the current social and racial climate right now. Yeah. Um, but yes, how much of yourself did you see into this? And again, how less did you have to prepare considering all things accounted? I mean, you know, I, 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 history is history and it's been happening longer than the moment that we're living in. And unfortunately, we keep seeing a cycle of... Uh-oh, uh -oh. here we go, he back. We got you. <laughs> Am I there? Oh, yeah, you <laughs> there. Sorry about that, yeah, no, no. Um, Put this over there. Um, yeah, no, I, I, in terms of, of the times we're living in and the cycle that there is that we continue to live through in terms of race relations and, and the policing and the policies and the laws and, and just everything, you know, in, in our daily lives that we contend with, with in terms of equality, um, like true equality, I, I, I was there but I had to get into the body. I had to get into the mind of, of 1917. You know, I give credit here to Kevin as well. Again, like I've never really seen a film about, you know, black culture in the early, you know, 20th century. Like, I just don't know. All I know about World War One is, you know, we fought for democracy and we kicked butt, but I know about domestic terrorism that was happening over here. People yep. being held back entirely over here and that story just being covered up with dirt and mud and blood while, you know, the people came back victorious, you know, on their front. I didn't know about that. Um, I, I ended up, I'm 37 years old right now. And uh, my character is like 24, Kevin, 24, 24. Yeah, I think so about 24, 25. Maybe. Yeah, I had to, I lost 20 pounds and I ain't got 20 pounds to lose, my man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I'm saying, but it, which made it even all the more you know difficult. But it, you know, I work that way. I love to work from the outside in to see the change, and then getting into the clothes and having my comrades around. I mean, it really was a group effort. And as much as I could prepare in terms of what I was watching, what I was listening to, nothing but old school music. Um, mm. Old school, as in like 20th century, early 20th mm -hmm. century, you know, mm -hmm. music, and um, which was interesting. But um, yeah, it, it, it really hit home when we got to the land, when we saw, you know, the trolley cars and the houses and you know what I mean? And the actors came together. I, I can't take the credit for this, man. It was a blessing, you know, the way that, I, that God orchestrated how we put this thing together. It just came through one after the other, after the other in layers. And all of the people that were there I think we're positioned there specifically, and you could feel, you know, spiritually, the overwhelming nature and responsibility of what we had stepped into, and that helped. I think all of the performances. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, just for my body, I say that again. I just say, by all means, that yeah, definitely, man. The trade, you know, and trade just, you know, he, he, I think he just 
embodies Baltimore. I mean, you know, Baltimore is, uh, Boston is based on a guy whose real name was Baltimore. And, um, and Boston, you know, you know, Trey understood Boston from the very beginning. And I, and I kind of knew that even before he read the script. I mean, Boston is a guy who, who cares about the people. He cares about making things better. Uh, and, and, you know, so it was just, it was just, it, you know, it just easily came together for, for, for Trey, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So just, this is my final question for us to leave off on for today. What do you want the viewers to take away from this? If there's one thing, once, you know, it's all said and done, what is, what is that message that you want them to take away? Well, I guess for me, it would be that, um, obviously I, I'd like for them to know about the history, about the, the, these men and, and their sacrifice and, and the struggle they went through. But, but I think maybe for me, the bigger picture is that, um, that, that this, is, this is nothing new, that this, is, this has been an ongoing thing for a very long time and that, and that we, are, we are where we're at now. You know, we've had a black president, you know, black folks have come a very long way. But but we we've, we've come that way through the sacrifice and struggles of a lot of folks uh, along the way, and and we didn't get here by you know, osmosis. No one just opened a door and and things got better. I mean, people people died and struggled and, and paid horrible prices for the gains that we've had in this country. And uh, and I think the twenty fourth, you know, the men of the twenty fourth was was a big part of that. And and I and I think that's. You know, I think we should really all know and understand that a lot more than we probably do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And to piggyback off of that, I, I, I 100 percent, I look at it as I keep saying this as a as a point of reference, you know, for for us and how we deal with one another. You know, we need to know those origins because our identity is in those origins and the way that we have you know grown is in those origins If the foundation. It's like, you know, if, if the foundation is slavery. If, the, if that's the root of the tree, then what do you think the bark is? What do you think the branches are? It's not, you know, something entirely divorced from us because we're not slave owners anymore or we're, you know, a couple of hundred years removed. Like, no, we're not. We, we, we're we still standing on this foundation of, of you know, the, the bitter root that we have created from, from the, the time the boats came over. And we need these points of reference not to divide but to but to come together to really understand and have a true compassion for what life is like for people across racial lines and i think that movies like these should spark curiosity for other tales other stories that nobody knows anything about despite how controversial they may seem they're worth investigating and investing in not simply as a a cautionary tale but a part of our national history in order to get to our national growth and national healing. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much. Everybody's listening to this. Be sure to check out the 24th. It's available in limited theaters, video on demand and digitally August 21st. You just heard from Kevin Wilmot and Trey Byers and they did a phenomenal job telling you just, just be ready to be ready to be empowered because there's a powerful message that's coming out and it's so timely. And, you know, like they say, you hope you take away from something and it sparks your curiosity and you go out and you tell others. So thank you so much, you all, for taking time with me and much love and success in the future. Yeah, you too, my friend. Take care, bro. Take care, gentlemen.